Lots of smartphone games depend on a data connection. Whether it's to download stuff from the server or some other reason, it seems like virtually every game these days asks that you be within close proximity of a web connection just to make the game run. However, not everyone has that luxury. So here are 15 new offline mobile games that don't require an internet connection at all. Starting off with number 15, we have Prison Royale. This is a very colorful and fun game for mobile devices, which is perfect for lovers of the mega popular genre. In Prison Royale, you and the other players have to escape from one of the most heavily guarded prisons. However, in order to escape, you have to succeed in getting rid of the annoying guards and to not let yourself get caught. In addition, in order to escape the territory of the prison, you must kill the other players and collect the necessary number of gold coins to afford the escape helicopter. At number 14, we have Desert Skies. Desert Skies is a wonderful open world sandbox concept game where you are in control of crafting your weapon so you can kill monsters in the desert. But here's the twist. Players need to take care of their health through methods like drinking water, eating food, and so on. Also, at the start, the player will have nothing except a hot air balloon raft, which is all the help you have in defending yourself from the monsters in the desert. From a visual perspective, the game has nice, clean graphics. However, the controls are not so good. At number 13, it's Parkour Race. This is an addictive offline parkour stickman style racing game in which you have to race against nine other NPCs and reach the finish line by crossing buildings. The game works in auto mode, so you only need to indicate a good direction for the stickman in order to arrive early at the finish line. In all, Parkour Race makes a worthy addition to the library of addictive games, so give it a try, but beware of frustrating ads. Moving right along to number 12 with Top Guns IO. This is a top-down offline player versus player deathmatch game with cartoonish design visuals. The gameplay is simple. Kill the other player before they kill you while collecting diamonds. In addition, Top Guns IO features a battle royale mode, although right now the mode is not available. The mechanics and concept of the game are copied from Axes IO, meaning replacing the axes with guns. However, it should be noted, both games were developed by the same company. At number 11, we find Racing Game Arena. This is a simple and fun racing game that features both single player and arena mode, and both modes are good. Arena mode is like a competitive mode in which players raced against each other, dodging in and out of city traffic. However, in single player mode, players can roam around the city earning money as a taxi driver. So if you run out of money, then single player mode is your best bet for recovery. The game also offers plenty of cars from Lamborghinis to Formula One. From a visual perspective, the game doesn't really look great and needs a lot more work before it's finished. On to number two, it's Soldiers of Vietnam. Most of us know about the American Vietnam War and how the Vietnamese almost defeated our US soldiers with deadly traps and invisible tunnels. Well, that's exactly what this game is about, but with low graphics and less realism. However, it does give a vibe like a Call of Duty Black Ops Vietnam jungle mission. In short, the game is pretty good for an offline shooter genre game. On the upside, the game can run smoothly in low-end devices. At number 9, we have Cyber Fight. This is a standard quality action game that has good grades for its superiority. The game is mostly based around fighting, and you get to fight a good number of shadow cyborgs, which are the main enemies you'll be battling in the game. The graphics of the game are quite good, in fact, they look excellent. It's the sci-fi graphics that really make the game, giving it a lot of quality and helping you feel the game well. Lastly, the game looks similar to Overdrive Ninja. Moving right along with number 8, we have Tailgun Charlie. 
This is a free game which lets you play as an airplane tail gunner, shooting down the enemy planes behind you. In Tail Gun Charlie, enemy planes arrive in waves, and it's the player's job to prevent any of the fighters from getting past your aircraft. The good news is that you have unlimited ammunition. The bad news is that if you keep your finger on the trigger, the guns will overheat and you'll be unable to fire for a few seconds until they cool down. At number seven, we discover the trail. In this game, you play as a new world traveler, seeking a new life and a new home. Along the way, you gather materials alongside of the road to eat, craft, and sell. Once you reach your destination, you can settle down, buy and upgrade a home, and help the town to grow. The graphics of the game are a bit quirky, but I soon warmed up to them. It does help that the NPCs show distinct personalities and are quite memorable. On to number six, we have Ice Cream 3. This is a horror game like Granny. However, in this game, the ice cream seller has come to the neighborhood and kidnapped your friend and neighbor, Mike. You witnessed it all, so your mission is to hide inside his van and solve the mystery of this evil villain. To do this, you will travel through different scenarios, solving the necessary puzzles to save the frozen child. If you've already played the previous game, then you'll really like this one too. <laughs> At number five, we find one level three Stickman Jailbreak. This is a puzzle adventure Stickman Jailbreak game. It's also a sequel to a series of logic puzzles from developer RTU Studio. The game has new interior design with 288 unique levels, 24 levels with bosses, and more enemies and dangers than ever before. The gameplay is tricky and you have to use all your smarts to clear each level. In the game, you have to play for Tommy, who again fell into the hands of the authorities and ended up in jail. Help him get out by solving complex problems and puzzles. In short, this game is good for killing time and training your mind. Moving on to number four, we have Night Fight Medieval Arena. Like the name says, this is a medieval arena fighting game where you defeat your opponents by using various types of weapons like swords, axes, and many more. After completing each level, opponents become stronger. You have to crush your enemies using spectacular hits and combos in order to become the invincible champion of the Medieval Knights Arena. The graphics and controls of this game are good, and I hope you'll also like it. At number three, we find Off-Road Pro. This is an open world off-road game with a map size of over 16 square miles. Off-Road Pro features a multiplayer and a solo mode with 500 off-road activities hidden in the map, mud, dirt, ramps, lakes, rivers, villages, and so on. The game works on real driving physics for each vehicle and offers vehicle customization from ATV to classic 4x4G. Overall, Off-Road Pro is a fun and enjoyable game that allows you to play with up to eight players. Moving right along, at number two, we find Best Luck. This is a dreamy, atmospheric puzzle adventure game for iOS and Android, where you have to open a lot of doors. This stunning, fully interactive story game is fully loaded with unique interactive design that presents the heartfelt story, and the music is by an Emmy-nominated composer. It's best to play this game on smartphones or tablets. It features multiple endings and comprehensive creative puzzles. The game has addictively illustrated cinematic scenes and beautiful art. You will experience an amazing storyline and some of the best graphic effects. Finally, at number one, we have Skill Test. This is a fun, addictive game with great physics. The gameplay is pretty simple in Skill Test. You traverse different obstacles with your vehicle in an effort to make it to the finish line. Skill Test features tons of levels and vehicles, so there's no chance of getting bored. The game looks similar to GTA 5 Adversary Mode. All in all, Skill Test makes a worthy addition to your library of addictive games, so go ahead, give it a try. That's all for this one. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single one of our videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.